hello everyone and welcome to another video today we will start a new subtopic subtopic 1.3 prime numbers okay let's begin so numbers we can put it into two different forms one is composite numbers and the other is called prime numbers. What are composite numbers? Composite num um, numbers are the numbers that have more than two factors, example, four, six, eight, nine, and so on. So that means we can divide these numbers by various factors. And prime numbers, prime numbers are the numbers that have exactly two factors. That is uh, the number one, and the number itself examples of prime numbers are 2 3 5 7 11 and so on note the number one has only one factor therefore it is neither prime nor composite so one doesn't get included in either composite nor prime numbers so that's pretty much it i hope you're clear so I have placed for you an example. This is from the textbook, an example for prime numbers. The numbers circled in, in this box um, are the prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 6, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and so on. All the circled numbers, these are prime numbers. prime numbers okay so let's start with exercise 1.7 first question which is the only even prime number which is the only even prime number so we can have a look the only even prime number is 2 and the remaining are odd numbers so we can simply write the answer as 2. Okay. Question 2. How many odd prime numbers are there less than 50? So that means less than 50 means yes, we have to count from count till 47 only. They say how many odd prime numbers. So note odd prime numbers means we have to exclude 2. So let's count. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So the answer is 14. Question 3. List the composite numbers greater than 4 but less than 30. So we have to list the composite numbers greater than 4 but less than 30. So that means uh, greater than 4 that is we have to start 5 we cannot because 5 is a prime number we have to start from 6 but less than 30 so this this means still 28 so let's write them down a we have 6 8 9 10 12 14 15 16 18 20 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Question B. Try to write each composite number on your list as the sum of two prime numbers. As the sum of two prime numbers. That means all these composite numbers that we have written down in this in part A we have to write them down as the sum. That means we have to add two prime numbers to get this composite number. And they have given us an example as six is equals to three plus three. So you see six is a composite number and three and three both are prime numbers. Another given example is eight. Eight is a composite number and three and five are both prime numbers. So let's start writing. First, right, six is equals to three plus three. 
8 is equals to 3 plus 5. 9 is equals to 2 plus 7. 10 is equals to 5 plus 5. 12 is equals to 5 plus 7. 14 is equals to 3 plus 11. 15 is equals to 2 plus 13. 16 is equals to 5 plus 11. 18 is equals to 5 plus 13. 20 is equals to 3 plus 17. 21 is equals to 2 plus 19. 22 is equals to 5 plus 17. 24 is equals to, we can either write 5 plus 19 or you can write 17 plus 7. Both are correct. Uh, 25 is equals to 2 plus 23. 26 is equals to 3 plus 23 or 13 plus 13. 27 is not possible. We can't add two prime numbers to get the answer 27. So we just write not possible. This is a special case. And 28 is equals to 5 plus 23. Okay, that's the end of question three. Moving to question four. Okay. Two prime two primes are pairs of prime numbers that differ by two. List the twin sorry, twin prime num twin primes. Sorry. Uh list the twin prime pairs or uh, up to hundred. Okay. So they say twin prime numbers are the numbers are the pairs uh, which appear one after another and they have a difference of two that means when you subtract those two numbers you get a difference of you get that you get two as the answer so let's begin uh, but all all of them should be prime numbers and they have a difference of two so we can write three and five so Let's see if you subtract 5 minus 3, you are going to get 2. Okay. And then 5 and 7. 11 and 13. 17 and 19. 29 and 31. Hey, you can check the prime numbers from the table as I have shown here. I'm just uh, writing it directly. 41 and 43. 59 and 61. 71 and 73. Let's say till 100. Okay. Now question 5. Is 149 a prime number? Explain how you decided. So the answer is uh, yes, one forty nine is a prime number. And regarding explain how you decided it, it um you can just uh, do the division. So one forty nine. You can check with sorry 149 you can check with 2 you can check with 3 4 and so on so it's kind of a trial and error method so you just write the method is is by checking with trial division Okay, moving to question 6. 
super prime numbers super prime numbers are prime numbers that stay prime each time you remove a digit so 59 is a super prime because when you remove 9 you are left with 5 so that means let's say 59 so if you remove 9 you you if you remove 9 you are left with 5 so 5 is a prime number okay um similarly if you have 239 so 239 if you remove 9 you we have remaining is 23 and 23 is a prime number so let's begin question part a find the find two three digit super prime numbers less than 400 so these are 233 293 211 313 317 373 and 379 you have to manually check each and every one of them in order to find it out okay part b can you find a four digit super prime number less than 3000 okay so now you have to find uh, four digit numbers four digit super prime number uh, but less than 3000 so they are two, uh, 2333 2339 2393 2,399 and 2,939 okay part C Sondra's telephone number is a prime number is the prime number okay 9876413 is her phone number a uh, super prime so well, let's say If we have 987, let's write the number first, 9876413. Okay, so 9876413, is it a super prime number or not? We have to check that first. So according to the question, the first, uh, let's remove the first digit. So we will have 9876413. Let's see if this is divisible. Is it a prime number or not? But according to our calculations, if we check 987641 divided by 37, yes, it is divisible by 37. We are going to get 226693. 26693. So hence, this it's not a prime number. So it's also not super prime. So we can write no it is not okay uh, that's the end of exercise 1.7 so i will see you again at exercise 1.8 till then stay safe and please subscribe to my channel thank you